start. Hello, I'm Chris Neen. I'm the incoming senior pastor for Detroit Lakes United Methodist Church. And you'd have the right to ask me, well, where are you, Pastor Chris? I'm in Djibouti, Africa. I've been here for about a year, and I'm on Camp Lemonye. And we have been in shutdown for the last six months because of COVID. So why have we been shut down? We've been in sh shut down because we have a no-fail mission here on Camp Lemonye. We have an emergency medical facility that provides care for all combat casualties in the Horn of Africa. We have the only uniform combat trauma surgeon on the continent right here on Camp Lemonier. So if an American is wounded someplace in the Horn of Africa, they will come through Camp Lemonier. So we take very personal our COVID protocols. We wear masks all the time. We walk and sit six feet apart. We wash our hands multiple times a day. Uh, with somebody washing, watching to make sure that uh, we wash for 30 seconds. And that's to make sure that we take care of We have a no-fail mission at Detroit Lakes United Methodist Church, and that's to provide the care and compassion of Christ to others, and meeting them wherever they're at and their journey through life. And that mission hasn't gone away. As a matter of fact, it's more important than ever. And I want to encourage you to take personally that mission to offer Christ's care and compassion to others. We're, the Lord knows that our little world needs the care and compassion of Christ more, now more than ever. My timeline is to leave here a couple months later than I was supposed to uh, in the middle of October and go back to Norfolk, uh, Virginia. I'll get thrown into a room for two weeks to make sure that I don't spread COVID back in the United States and then I'll begin the demobilization process. I'll go back to Minnesota. I'll say hi to my family, see my grandson that I haven't seen yet. He was born while I've been over here. And I'm hoping to begin uh, the Advent season with you. That is such a happy thought to me to be joining you for the Christmas season. In the meantime, I hope that you will be brave Christians be at peace, and I look forward to seeing you. Goodbye for now.